All right, welcome back to part two of attaching an image to a camera plane. Um, in this tutorial, we are going to go into part two. So if you haven't seen part one, please go back and watch part one because this is must know stuff and it's really cool. So go back and watch part one and then catch us up on part two. So anyway, this is part two. So as you can see so far, we have everything in place. We've got our um, camera. Uh, our master camera, which is basically uh, throwing a shadow. It's capturing this, but you'll notice that in my render view, when I keep trying to do a render, I must be set on the master cam. So I'm going to set it to master, and I'm going to hit that, and it's going to basically do a render. Um, because sometimes you have to make sure it's set in the view that you want, and you'll find that down here, master or perspective. So. Anyway, our master cam is saying that we have a, a nice shadow here. Here's our, our image plane, and um, everything's looking pretty cool. But we don't want this plane in here anymore. We want the shadow, but we don't want the plane. So in order to get rid of that, let's come over here and select our plane. I'm just going to click on there, and I've got my plane. And what I want to do is I want to right mouse click and come down to assign new material. Come over here and I want to use background right there. So let's use background material. Now you'll notice a couple of things happen. You get um, some new tabs over here. Use background, use background. And if you look in your outliner you'll notice that it falls in here somewhere. Use background kind of comes down here at the bottom. I have my uh, my uh, history on so generally you want to use that for a while okay so we know that we have that and everything is looking good and we're using a background material now well let's take a render and see what happens now that we switched that I'm gonna go ahead and render and as you can see you start to see a shadow here and that is awesome but we don't want that uh, we're going to get rid of this shadow, or not get rid of it, but we're just going to tone it down a bit because rarely would you see a, a pure black shadow obscuring a landscape like that. So we're going to make it look a little more natural, all right? And what we're going to do is we're going to look at some of the values over here in our Use Background 1. And there's a thing known as the Shadow Mask, and that's what we're after here. By default, it's set at 1, which in our render view, you can see where that's pure black. Um, shadow mask at 1 equals pure black. So we're going to take that and let's move this down to like, say, half. And we'll come over here and take another render. And as you can see, it'll start to show up and have some transparency, which is just great. I mean, that's exactly what you want. So with that in mind, you may want to adjust your spotlight a little bit to maybe your penumbra, soften that up a little bit, maybe tone down the spotlight a little bit. And then you can also work with the shadow mask over here. So I'm going to bring that down a little bit more. And then you'll notice that we kind of get a, a much more lifelike kind of effect. And that is exactly what we want. So there you have it. Uh, it's pretty much as easy as that, but there's a couple other things to look at here now. I'm going to move this render view aside, and let's come in here. We're in our master cam. I, uh, I want to select that master cam, so maybe I'll use my outliner to do that. I'll come up here and select my master cam, and you'll notice that um, you, know, you have various uh, properties over here. I want to switch into my attributes for a moment and make sure that my master cam is showing up here somewhere. And in this case, I'm going to lock it down. So I'm going to pick translate X and scale and, and all of that. And I'm going to shift click on the last one there. And then in here, I'm going to right mouse click. And I think what I want to do with this is we're going to lock selected. Okay. And that basically locks our master cam down and it won't change from there. So that's a good starting position. It's like keyframing the camera to, to be in this position all the time. So I'll go lock selected, great. Now, if I hover over here inside of this view and hit the space bar, I can come back to some of these other, um, you know, these other views. You can work in any of these, or I could come up here into my panels view 
and I can go back into my perspective here and I'm gonna hover in here hit the space bar and now I can kinda of work uh, on other elements if I want um, I can go ahead and turn this and everything but when we go back to that master cam it'll be locked into place so we know that um, we kinda of have a, a good lockdown alright so let's say we create something else in here maybe just create a sphere I mean, a, 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 let's, say, ah, let's create a, a cube and we'll just grab that on the grid, make a cube and, you know, there it is. So maybe move it up in space a little bit. You might have something else that's in the scene you want to kind of animate or do whatever you want with. Um, in this case, uh, we'll just look at how we might be able to work a, an object in here. You can see where it's in front of the plane or in front of the image plane and we may want to just sort of bring that down a little bit uh, maybe make it just move through the scene the same way I don't know it doesn't matter it's just the concept right now that we're after so we'll go ahead and, and start it out from say over here come back to frame number one and maybe go ahead and just select these first three up here right mouse click and then just go to key selected and that sets a keyframe and then we'll move it all the way up to the end of the animation and move it all the way through so we'll go all the way like like that okay and then come back up here right mouse click and key selected okay so now we should have a couple of different objects moving through the scene and that's cool blah -de -de blah all right let's go and take a look at our master cam now We'll go to perspective come over here to master and let's look at what's happening there we got that cruising in something cruising through and let's take a quick render and just see what happens all right and there it is so you have actually other objects you know you can animate stuff in your perspective view and then when you switch back over to your master view um, you know everything shows up kind of where it should so that is cool uh, I don't know about you guys but you know there's a lot you can do with this and remember it's the concept that matters here um, you know think about um, converting a clip into say like an image sequence and then um, you know putting this on the on the background here now that's a tutorial for a whole different day uh, I might get on to doing a tutorial about attaching an image sequence to a background because that way you can actually have you know live footage with these trees moving and some natural movement in your background and that's really cool to think of but right now it's just getting this concept down and kind of playing around with that and getting used to you know where things fall in 3d space working with your cameras blah -de -de blah you know that kind of thing so <laughs> yeah it's fun to play around with and um, you know there's no end to the things that can you know, be done with a scene like this you know you could create a fireball cruising through the sky here and bouncing off the ground or whatnot and remember I chose this image right here because it just sort of had some some you know perspective to it with with a vanishing point back here and, and, and a ground plane where I could make sure that the shadows come cruising across there so it's all kind of in the pre-concept stage where you'll put this stuff together and think about how do I want things to move you know across say a two-dimensional shot like this was just a camera so that is it I'm glad you uh, stayed for part two go ahead and play around with those concepts and remember subscribe to my YouTube channel and you'll get all the updates for new tutorials and stuff and if you happen to think about something you might want to see more on uh, if I know about it <laughs> I'll do a tutorial on it alright so best of luck thanks for watching and remember read a book every day and night and listen to some music <laughs> and have a great one we'll see you for the next tutorial thanks for watching